Hey, what's up? Welcome to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, where I'm staying in the first hotel I've been in in months. And yeah, it feels weird. So what are we talking about today? Today, we are talking about productivity tools. What are the things that allow me to be productive both when I'm on the road, in situations like this, and when I'm at home just trying to bang through work, manage multiple businesses, manage multiple brands, manage my life, how do I actually get stuff done? Well, sometimes with great difficulty, but if it weren't for these tools that I'm gonna share with you, five of these tools, in fact, uh, my life would be in even more chaos than it already is. These five tools have been invaluable to my life, my business, and most importantly, my sanity. So you're gonna wanna pay attention, get notes. I highly recommend you try all five of them because I'm telling you, total game changer. So with that, let's get right into it. Intro. If you don't know me, my name is Sean Ogle. I'm the founder of Location Rebel, where we teach you how to build small businesses you can run from anywhere in the world. Last few months, it's been running, you know, a business from my bedroom, basically. Uh, but every once in a while, we still travel and we go to places like this where it pours down rain outside and we get some cool golf in. All right, so what are we talking about today? Today, we are talking about productivity tools. Um, don't care who you are, don't care what your business is, uh, the better systems you have and the better tools you have at your disposal um, for productivity, for getting stuff done, for holding yourself accountable, the more successful you're going to be. So I don't care if you're already working for yourself, if you've been forced to start working remotely, if you're having to balance work and a side hustle and homeschooling your kids right now, life's crazy. But the better systems you have in place, uh, the easier it's going to be to be productive, get stuff done, and build a life, build a business that you're proud of and you're happy with. Okay, so first uh, first productivity tool I recommend is a sauna. I am a firm believer that you need something in your life where you can dump everything. All of your thoughts, all of your goals, all of your projects, all of your tasks, everything you need to do, whether it's a business, whether it's your household, whether it's just personal items or errands you have to do, have one spot where you can put all of it. So for me, Asana has been the perfect place to do that. I have tried at least half a dozen different productivity project management tools, and all of them have been a little overly complicated and haven't really worked for me, so I found Asana to be the best for my needs. Uh, Liz and I with Location Rebel, we have projects and tasks where we manage that. We manage our content and editorial calendar in Asana. I manage all of my breaking 80 tasks and 80 club stuff there. And I also manage all of my personal and household things. So I've got a private thing just for the things I need to get done around the house or errands I need to run for myself. What I love about it is because it allows me to plan my days with everything that I need, not just business or personal, because when you work for yourself, it all kind of blends together. So you want to be able to manage your business tasks and your work tasks with your personal tasks. And Asana is a great way to do that. Not to mention the base version of it is free and for most people especially starting out you're probably only going to need the base version the second tool i recommend that i've been using for years is called sanebox so basically this is a gmail extension which essentially breaks down your inbox into smaller inboxes and so you can pick the way you want it to automatically filter things so mine is sane bulk which is for things like receipts or you know general notification from websites paypal things like that i've got sane later which which are things that aren't necessarily critical, but are things I should get to eventually. I've got sane news, which are just newsletters and things like that. Usually a couple times a month, I'll just select all and delete because I don't need to go through most of that stuff. And then I've got my main important inbox for things that I know I need to respond to right away. Um, every once in a while, I'll forget to renew or the credit card will expire on SaneBox and my inbox all of a sudden will just look daunting and terrifying and unorganized. So it really is a useful tool. So if you're looking for a better way to manage email and manage email overload, can't recommend same box enough. Okay, the third productivity tool that just I, I just love is kind of a common one, but it's a total game changer, and that's Google Drive. To be able to have Word documents, to be able to have spreadsheets, and to be able to have storage that I can access from anywhere in the world is incredibly valuable. So I use Google Drive for anything. Anytime somebody sends me a Word document, I open it up in Drive. Anytime someone sends me an Excel document, I open it up in Drive. It also makes it easier for you to collaborate with people. So if I'm working on guest posts with somebody on Location Rebel, or if I'm writing for somebody else, we can go into a shared Google Doc, I can write it, 
they can leave their comments or I can leave comments for somebody writing on our site and then we can easily adjust and massage the post to make sure that we get it where we want it. And those collaborative tools are super valuable. Again, not to mention it's free. So that's kind of a win right there. So if you're not using Google Drive, I highly recommend it. If you start working online and you start collaborating with other bloggers or other creators or other business owners, it's truly one of the best tools out there. Also wanna to mention today, we published a blog post over at Location Rebel that is like 61. I don't know if that was the final number we landed on, but it is dozens of the best productivity tools out there for every purpose, whether you're looking for time management tools, project management tools, WordPress and writing tools, we, we got it all. It's a very long, beefy post. We got the link below, so go make sure you check that out if you want more productivity tools. The fourth tool, let me, let me just pose a situation for you. How many time, how many hours over the last year have you spent trying to remember passwords? Searching for passwords, trying passwords, getting locked out because you typed in the wrong password too many times and having to go back and like hit forgot password and then check your email and change it only to have to do it again a month later? This has happened to me all the time, uh, especially because everybody makes you have a super secure password and you should have a super secure password. It's 2020, people are malicious and there's terrible people on the internet that will steal your stuff. So you wanna have a strong password. But the tool that has helped me with this is LastPass. Uh, being able to have a password manager, so all of my passwords are in one place and I can manage that with one login. Uh, it'll automatically show up whenever I show up at that site. Um, it's truly been a game changer, both for accessing passwords on my phone and my laptop. And finally, the fifth productivity tool that I highly recommend, Pocket. You ever heard of Pocket? Maybe you haven't, but I'm gonna tell you about Pocket because it's fantastic. So basically what Pocket allows you to do is save blog posts to read later. So there has been countless times that I've come across a news article or a long read or something that I want to read, but I don't have time to do it right in that moment. So whether I'm on my phone or I'm on my computer, there's a Chrome extension, you literally just like hit the little Pocket icon and it'll save it into your Pocket account. So then later on I can go and open up the Pocket app on my iPad or on my phone or on my computer and be like, oh, here's the four articles that I have wanted to read that I didn't have time for before. And because it stores everything in your account, if you read something six months ago that you wanted to share with someone, be like, oh, I've, I've read this great article about this thing. Uh, let me go find it for you. It's all in there and saved. Not to mention the Pocket Digest where you can get an email, you know, once a week or once a day, depending on your preference, with suggestions for things they think you will enjoy based on your reading habits. And I've kind of found a lot of the most interesting articles and the most interesting resources I've received or I've found on the internet have come from that Pocket Digest. So if you're looking for a place to store all of the things you want to read, all of those resources you found online that you want to remember, Pocket is a great way to do it. It's kind of like a RSS feed or a feed reader for the modern day society. You know, when I started blogging in 2010, it was all about RSS feeds. Uh, chances are, part of you, some of the people reading this, you have no idea what an RSS feed is. So don't worry about that. Those don't really matter anymore. Just go check out Pocket, thank me later. So with that, those are the five productivity tools I recommend that have had a tremendous impact in my life. And as a reminder, make sure to go check out the productivity tools post we mentioned before over on the Location Rebel blog. Like I said, dozens more tools for helping you manage your business and be more productive and get stuff done because that is the most important thing you need to do as a solopreneur, lifestyle entrepreneur, whatever you wanna call it. You gotta get stuff done because no one's gonna do it for you and these tools will help. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit subscribe. We got new videos every Monday and Thursday. Give the, give the old the, the thumbs up. I like the, the thumbs ups. And uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. I will see your smiling faces for the next video. Have a good one. Peace.